In order to save money, a lot of farmers are looking at raising conventional corn instead of Roundup Ready corn. Well, you can certainly do that on your farm, but you need to change your weed control options, obviously, because you can't use Roundup post-emerge. But not only do your post options change, your pre-option should change as well. Well, that's really the biggest thing. When I talk to farmers that say, you know, Roundup really isn't working that well, so why spend the extra money? I'm gonna go to conventional corn instead. I say, that's fine. But the first big change you need to make is using a full rate of a grass herbicide pre-emerge in corn. Really, when we're giving up Roundup, the big thing we're losing is that we're losing that post-emerge grass rescue product. I mean, Roundup is cheap. It's highly effective on most grasses, even at low rates. That's the thing that I'm really regretting if I go away from that Roundup trade. So to avoid that, start off with a very high rate of a pre-emerge grass herbicide. Try and wipe out all the grasses so there are no grasses to spray post-emerge. That's the best way to do it. And you may say, well, I don't know, it's gonna cost me more money. No, it's probably not gonna cost you much more money than the pre-emerge herbicide program you were doing, which was a high rate of a broadleaf herbicide with a low rate of a grass herbicide. Then you came back with Roundup to clean up any escapes. We're just changing how we do things just a little bit. Let's do all the grass, pre-emerge if we can, and then post-emerge, we'll try and control the broadleaves. And don't forget that a lot of these grass control options have come down in price some. So you can get them done a little bit less expensive than you could just a few years ago. But here's the whole thing. If you've got much grass in your field, I wouldn't switch away from Roundup because of that grass rescue option. If you have to rescue in conventional corn, you know what you have? You got Accent and that's 25 bucks an acre by the time you figure all the adjuvants in there. So you better make sure you have great grass control because I just want to remind you, before the Roundup days, you know what the number one weed problem in corn was? It was annual grass. You know what the number two problem was? Annual grass. You know what the number three problem was? Annual grass. That was the big issue. And then Roundup came along and we're like, oh, this is so awesome. For $4 or whatever it is, I can rescue and I can kill all those grasses post emerge. Now I got a good pre, I got a good post, I have great grass control. That's the big thing that hurts yield in corn. So you've got to make sure you have that full rate of the grass killer down. Then post-emerge, what we usually talk about is killing the broadleaves then. Yes, you'll have some activity with those grass killers, but post-emerge now, you have that product do the work. Status is my favorite, but certainly I like Impact, Laudus, Callisto, Armazon. Throw a half pound or a quarter pound of atrazine with any of those if you can. And then you're usually in great shape in terms of overall weed control. No, you're in better shape because now you've got products that have residual. So you think about, especially those HPPDs, they've got a pretty good long residual on many of the broadleaf weeds that we're fighting yep, in corn. You throw some atrazine out there post-emerge, now that little tiny bit of residual you have is actually gonna do you some good. And atrazine is one of those things that I wanna talk about too, because we see a lot of guys, in my opinion, wasting their atrazine pre. Will it help your pre-emerge herbicide work better? Yeah, a little bit. Will it help your post-emerge broadleaf work better? Yes quite a bit. I think you get more bang for your buck using that atrazine post because now I can utilize not only just the, the residual, the soil residual of the atrazine, you can also use the contact burning activity that it's got on a lot of broadleaf weeds. Plus the fact it's a lot better option post-emerge environmentally. We have a lot less risk that it's gonna go down into the groundwater or anything like that. All right, so we've talked about pre, you wanna use that good strong rate of a grass killer. Post, we wanna use these broadleaf killers with a little atrazine, but a lot of guys will ask, well, hey, I heard that Laudus is better than Callisto when it comes to killing grass grass post-emerge. Look, all these post-emerge products, whether it's Status, Impact, Armazon, Callisto, Laudus, and even Atrazine, they have a little bit of activity on grass, just not much. So yes, if you had 10 blades of grass out there, would it take it out? Probably, I'm not too worried about it. If you've got 10 million blades of grass out there, no way, no chance, you might as well go with Accent and get it rescued, but you gotta go early. If you need a rescue with Accent, don't think that you're gonna do a good job when the grass gets bigger than two inches. I know on the label it'll say four inches, that's really pushing it. Not only have you lost yield by that point, but your grass control results, your percentage control goes down. Well, the other thing is just the whole myth of, ah, I can do a total post program. There is no total post program for conventional corn. There just flat isn't. Nope. You aren't gonna control all the weeds. And then plus, if you let all the weeds get up, you're definitely hurting your corn yields. Everybody knows that. We've seen that for years, really for a generation with all the university trials and private trials. We lose yield if we let weeds grow up. This is 
something that's been one of the worst mistakes we've had with Roundup Ready corn is guys are like, oh, if I got some weeds out there, I can burn them down with Roundup. Yeah, you can have a clean field at the end of the year. I don't really care so much about that. I care about getting maximum yield and profitability in the field, and we've given up yield for years by not spraying those weeds a little bit sooner. Well, one of the weeds you may see if you're raising any type of corn is our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it coming up later in the show.